I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today we're at the greatest muscle car show on the planet, the Muscle Car and Corvette National in Rosemont, Illinois. Come on out and see a great car show, and I met Mike, who's got a super unique car. Mike, what year make it? What, first of all, what's your last name? Mike is. Mike, Mike is, what year make and model is this one? It's a 1964 Studebaker Daytona R2. And the R2 stands for? Factory Supercharged. Factory Supercharged. So let's take a look at this car. As well, you're just not going to see another one. So we're at the Studebaker Legends section. And people sometimes don't associate Studebaker with like race cars. Well, here's the difference. This little badge right here, R2, means that it has the supercharger. Also, you've got the super cool piece there. Now, how long have you had this car? A little over three years now. Three years, and there's someone involved who got you interested in Studebakers. Who was that? That would be my dad. <laughs> dad got you interested in the Studebakers. Yep. Tell me how that happened. Well, he uh, had a couple of Studebakers. Mom had a Hawk, and Dad had a uh, Lark just like this. Um, it was a 1964, but it was an R1. That's what I grew up in. I think it's the small stuff in that a long time ago. So now, do they call it a Lark Daytona, or they just call it a Daytona? They kind of transitioned out of that Lark name in 1963 to 64, and they just went to Daytona. They went straight up to Daytona. Yep. Got it. Tell me why it says West Virginia State Police. Oh, the person I bought this car from, that's what he did. He was a West Virginia State Police man. Nice. Okay. So I thought that was a nice touch, and I'm not taking it. Yeah, that. no, I like that touch. And there's what it cost. Where's our R2 upgrade? Right there. No, that's the automatic floor shift. Where's the, where's the R2 upgrade? Right, right there, 37. High performance package R2. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. That's right below <laughs> the automatic. I really thought that was a nice badge there. Mm -hmm. That shows that there. This black stripe that goes all the way through the car. So do you drive this to car shows, or this is it just the trailer queen? No, no, I do drive it. Um, one work allows me to, but... Uh, which isn't much, but I do get a chance to drive it every once in a while. Did it come with dual exhaust? Yes. Okay. Yep. Let's uh, love how that's got the Scooter Baker script all the way across. And your gas cap, very simplistic. Let's open up. We've got some trunk and treats with this one too. So Dad got you hooked. When did you get this car? What year? This year, uh, three years ago. Three and a half years ago, something like that. Is your dad still with us? No, he's not, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, yeah, he would have absolutely loved this thing. I'm sure this would have brought back great memories. Oh yeah. So here's the Avanti information. And is there something for your car here too? Well, this is an Avanti engine. Oh, okay. As shown by the emblems on the side there. Okay, got it, I'm with you now. Okay, the owner's guide. Very careful with these. Tell me what's going steady with this with the studio. Well, that was one of the advertisings that they had back in the day. <laughs> going steady with the studio. That is great stuff. We got the nice piece in here. We're probably a little bit of sound deadening. How difficult was it to restore this, this, this situation? Well, it was uh, the gentleman that I bought it from. He actually had to restore it. Him and a friend of his did this. Pull off, pull frame off, uh, rotisserie uh, restoration on this. But a lot of these parts are still readily available. Is that right? So. Okay, let's go inside it, shall we? Because right, that sure. trunk. May I open it? Yes. Thank you. It's quite the grand door. I mean, there's a lot there. This is... Uh, the only car that was this color blue on the exterior with like that brown interior. Well, it's a nice color combination, isn't it? There's no doubt about that. It's got the automatic. Studebaker number. The instrumentation. The Studebaker wheel. Another rare option is the uh, AM FM radio. 
They did not have many of those at that time. Let's take a look at that. It's $135 option. That's a big option. Yeah. Wow. The floor shift, the center console, the roof line. Very comfortable, by the way. Buckets, with the center console. So, in case she needs to sit next to you, she can. Yep. All right, beautiful. Let's uh, open up under the hood, shall we? So, here we have under the hood. Well, when I walk past this one, that big orange thing right there, that Paxton supercharger stopped me right in my tracks. There's where you can find your number of the car, your bit, if you will. Do you have to use any special gas or anything with the Paxton supercharger, like 101 octane or? Uh, I use 93 octane. 93, straight up 93 works. That is great. What's the cubic inch? It's a 289. 289, but not a Ford 289. Correct, this is his Tudor Baker 289. Thank you.